Right guys, welcome back to Battle Brothers. We are doing a follow the tracks. Yeah, follow the tracks mission and hoping that there is a champion with them. Oh, I see Beast Prince as well. Nachzeras. 18 Nachzeras. Is it worth fighting 18 Nachzeras for necklaces? I don't think so, because we don't care about necklaces. We only care about dogs. The thieves are quite dangerous. They're right in the middle of the fucking marsh, and they're not moving. Oh, and we're drawing the Nachzeras into them. We have to fight them in the day as well, because the Nachzeras are coming. There's 13 of them, that really sucks. At least you've got like a pathway of land to get through, kind of. Good, two of them are bowmen. And one of them's a super squishy crossbowman. Oh dear, I don't like that. Oh, I'm a leader. Bloody Hildrick, although his armour is shit, luckily. Charge. No reason not to. Bertolf is what? Two-handed? He's the really shit noob guy. <clears throat> Get on the muddy earth. Julius can charge to there. You can come up and lock that guy into place. You can come up to there. We're fighting in the swamp as well. This fucking sucks. This this is exactly what I didn't want to have to do, which is tread through mucky water and charge a bunch of fucking archers in the middle of the day. But we had to because oh, he can't even go anywhere either in this swamp because he can only go one pace. This is worst case fucking scenario. This is an absolute fucking nightmare. Make no mistake about it. A couple of headshots helps though. Thank you very much. Oh, he returned fire. Okay, interesting moves. I like it. Interesting swishy moves from the computer. From the AI. Shame he got him killed. He just wasted his fucking thing on goddamn... An arrow. Bump him back, please. Bump him back, please. Really, mate? Haha, <laughs> you're not on ground, I am, fool. I'm gonna start releasing dogs soon if I have to. Fucking archers. Sixty percent chances are actually quite high <clears throat> for considering his shield walling behind a kite shield. Well, I'm glad he retreated. Glad he retreated and come try and come round. Uh, shield wall. I should have rotated, but whatever. Didn't want the duelist in front of that guy when he's got fucking throwing weapons out. Uh, Bosh him back, please. Thank you. Finally, and now you can throw this guy. Interesting maneuvers. Move forward and attack him from a distance. Shame you couldn't kill him. Bertolf, what are the odds? 62, I'll take it. Kill him. Nice one, Bertolf. Go there and release a doggy. Come here and kill this guy. No, shield wall. The fighting the leader. 
46, really? Oh, it's because of the swamp, isn't it? Yeah. I really don't like the idea of putting the heavy tank in a triple surround, actually, so I shouldn't have moved him so far forward. That's a double surround. You go there, you go there and rotate him out, actually. That's better. Use the, use the positioning of the terrain to your advantage, bros. Shit. I don't like this. Rado Slab needs to get the fuck out. Might already be too late for him. Oh, shit. I didn't see that. Look at that. Oh, I thought he had a line on him. I can't for that. He doesn't. He's still probably going to crossbow bolt him down, though. Yep, knew it. Straight into him. He just didn't die. He got hit in the shoulder or something. I don't know. Fucking annoying fucking crossbow dicks. Get behind cover. Just in there, though. Oh, shit. Now he can step over there. I shouldn't have done that. We need to kill these guys quick. Dodge it, Rado Slav! Oh, he went for it. He hit the biggest, the biggest, biggest... You're getting the fuck out. Step to here and then here so you're on land. I don't really want to put you there when you're a fucking noob. And he's got a cleaver and stuff. So put a doggy down and hopefully the doggy will go there. Damn it, doggy, for fuck's sake. You're Fucking dumb dog! Ah, uh, whatever, she's gone for either one of them. Should have put the dog down with him, actually. I could have done that with him. Shield wall. He's like, I'm coming! Be there in a minute! You have to attack your way. Oh, this is just horrible. This is a horrible fucking situation. A horrible RNG fucky situation that we've got ourselves stuck into. Where we've got all these noobs att being attacked by raiders. We're going to lose someone again. Because of this fucking swamp bullshit. Oh, look at that damage. Oh, I should have put on the kite shield. That's annoying. I'm going to pick up that kite shield next turn. Give him a kite shield. Good kill, good kill. Hide in the bush. Yeah. Thank you. Hit him, thank you. Put the doggy down. You can put the doggy down there. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that, did you, Archer Douche? That's his name, Archer Douche. Kill him. Recover. <laughs> Nice, Archer Douche gets ripped in his face. Good work, doggies. Getting on the... Yeah, get on the archers. Good work, boys. Who's your good doggy boy? Oh, shit, he's got an axe. And they're in water. Oh, he's in water as well, so okay. Oh, he's going to get the doggy. He came and attacked the doggy. We need to fucking kill him before he kills the doggy. Uh, come here and start rotating the doggy out. Operation Rotate Doggy. Bertolf, you're just completely useless there. I can't get you anywhere right now. Let's just wait. Oh, I could have hit the dog then. That would have been bad. Shield wall. Good hit on the leader. Step up. See if you can get the long axe out. You can't, unfortunately. That's a shame. Yeah. 
you can come out now. You can come up and just help the doggy up here. Not that he needs help. Oh, he just wrecked him! Good work, doggy. Dodge it. Oh, he's a confident doggy. He's prancing about in the mud. And the guy just can't get a target on him with the axe. No! He stabbed the doggy! The, yeah, this doggy's dead anyway. I couldn't get him out in time. And this guy's just going to mallet him down. Yeah. That sucks. Whatever. Kill him now. Nice work. Uh, yeah, come to here just to get the adjacency bonus for Damon. Radoslav. You can 61% chance, pretty good. Yeah, good hit. Nice. Uh, come up here. Oh shit! There's a guy with a fucking two-handed sword who's gonna get it away. We wanted that. We won that sword for fucking payment. Come and get me, prick. That's good money in that sword. Okay, we slowed him down. We should be able to catch him now. Oh, shame. If that had hit, he would have, been, he would have died and he wouldn't get attacks off. Not that it matters. Doggy's still prancing all over through the mud. You are a douche, aren't you? Just die. I'd rather have the sword than this thing, but can anyone get to him? No, so shield wall and go up. Yeah. Oh, he can get here. He won't die to that, I don't think. They're gonna get eaten by doggies! He got eaten by a doggy! And the other guy saw him go down and was like, fucking hell, I'm getting out of here. These these guys are fucking sick. They're feeding people to dogs. These weird cultist fucks. Which is like, that's not all we do, brah. We also turn people into tents. He's just like, what the fuck? How the fuck do you turn someone into a tent? What the fuck is wrong with you? We're just like, brah, you don't even know. We're dav cultists. Yeah, we're running him down. We're getting his sword. That sword is as good as ours, boys. Yeah, that was an annoying fight. Kind of fun though, actually, but just the trenching through the swamp against the fucking... Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't get the sword. We got the, meat, the military cleaver, though, which is good for selling. We got another good axe, which we're going to keep for long term. We got that. We got that to sell. We got some heavy armor. You know, it wasn't for now. Plus, we also get paid now. It's just we have to get f away from the Naxxeras and come down this way, I think. I, I don't particularly want to fight the Naxxeras. It's not worth it. It's not worth our time. You all got completely fucked, but you should be fine. Repair that because we're keeping it. Repair to sell these, these, and this. Repair the two armors because we need heavy. We need more armor because people are getting damaged. Like you, for instance, need to change that for that, and that for that. You're fine. You need to change, you need 110. This guy's got a 110. And now you're basically fine. You need another 110. Everyone else is okay, right? Yeah. 
okay-ish. I say okay, they're not really okay, they're just, yeah, whatever. Uh, do we want to fill up the axes? Well, yes, I think we want to do, we do want to fill up the axes. Well, we, um, well, we can, while we're near civilization, we've got plenty of them. We're coming south and coming round. No, the next arrows are definitely going to catch us if we go that way. We'll come down and come through the mountains. We'll come south and cut through the mountains. There's fucking 18 Nash's arrows chasing us. Someone tell them to fuck off. Thank you, they did. We've barely got enough tools for anything. Whatever, let's go to Dunkle World, see if they've got any tools. Did we go in there and see what was in there? Ruins of Stalwart Keep? I think we did and it was undead, wasn't it? Or did I just think it was undead and stay away from it? Hunt down webnecks in the woods, no thank you. I was hoping it was a hunt down with terrorizers. Oh, Torsten, another poacher, you're hired. Uh, no, he's determined, but doesn't really have much else going for him, so. He would have made a relatively solid brother, but we've already got a sacrifice, and he wouldn't have made a good enough brother to invest time in uh, leveling him. Oh, I didn't check the marketplace. 234 is not great, actually. 390 is fucking abysmal. Take the grains though. Skulls, you any better? Probably not. Up here it tends to be like, oh it has to be Vardstead you have to go to for tools and stuff. Ooh, unhold attacks, that could be a fun one. Norman the Rock would probably do. Ooh, Bodo the Slow, you're hired. He's slow and dumb. He's got good resolve though, but yeah, whatever. The slow meat. He's a slow cooker, slow burner. Oops, no, take that off. Take that. Take the axe we just found. Want a shield? And now we're going to check the 700 poacher as well, Norman the Rock. Hopefully he won't just get sacrificed. Oh shit. He's a fucking heavy tank. Oh, even better, a light tank actually. Yeah, he's not he doesn't have enough fatigue to be a heavy tank. But he's got he's got iron jaw, that makes him a tank, plus the defense is a tank. And he's got yeah, he's definitely a light tank. High initiative with one star in it. Three defense, not very much fatigue. He's a light tank. give him the best gear we can give him and then try and find something better for him or just swap him out swap him with this guy's gear probably once this guy gets to max level we'll swap him out for this guy because this isn't a very particularly good light tank whereas this guy well it depends if he depend if he lives long enough get rid of this asshole now I'm not paying him 240 conversation fuck off if this if anyone gets sacrificed it'll be this guy if not, he'll become a light tank. He'll become a cultist and we'll turn him into a light tank. Oh, we need to repair that flail as well. I thought we had something else that we needed to repair. It was a flail, yeah. Cool, we just found a fucking light tank, guys. That's cool as shit, considering he's supposed to be a poacher. Damn it, no fucking tools at all. Are you kidding? Are you joking me, game? No, not interested in that. Let's talk crowns. Hunt down the unholds. 1,330. Do I think we can handle an unhold contract for 1,330? I do not think we can. You don't have Indom yet, so we've only got one person with Indom to lock like eight unholds in place and try and kill them quickly enough. I don't think we can do it. This guy's still got an injured shoulder, so he's got even less damage. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not going to risk that. Let's go to Vardstead. 
it could be like eight to ten unholds, and it would just completely do us in. See if there's anything on route to Vardstead, we'll do that instead, but it doesn't look like there is. That sucks of having there be like a barbarian camp or something around. We're going to come up here and do this, tribal camp. Terrified villagers as always. They're the most terrified villagers I've ever seen in this game, this place. No cultists. Uh, whole slag. That would probably be mercenaries attacking us. No, thank you. And what's this? Fuck no to that. Fucking hell. Are you kidding me? Destroy any greenskin parties in camps to lure out their warlord and then kill the orc warlord for 4,460 crowns. Three skull contract, that is as fucking hard as it gets. Should we have a go at it? We can always load it. Could be a laugh, let's try it. Uh, and I'll save another one, I'll save Jules as well. So we've got two backup saves and we can save over one of them as we progress through this quest if we want to keep trying it. So, destroy any green screen parties in camps to lure out their warlord, kill the orc warlord. It doesn't say anywhere specific to do that. So I guess we're just going to come over here, down here, and hope that there's orc territory somewhere around here. Even though there's been like nothing anywhere around here for fucking god knows how long. Oh wait, we, need, we also need tools. I forgot to check the market. There we go, they're fucking expensive, but we've got money for it. So I'm going to buy the tools. Why the fuck have we got paint set for? Uh, I hate doing this, but we're going to have to do so. 2, 4, 6, 8, 120. And then grains, grains, that, that, and that. And we're wandering into the wild looking for orcs now, guys. Ammunition we need as well. Even though it's, fuck me, that's so expensive. We can't afford that. That is so ex I know we need like, oh, uh, fucking, oh, uh, whatever. Two more. So, it's such expensive. Fuck this place. Fuck you all, you fucking advantage taking little weird, terrified villager pussy town. Let's go find some orcs, boys. Get out of here. Let's go up this mountain first, see if we can see any orc tracks. That would be a good start. Damn it, that's a bad start. No orc tracks. Nothing to be seen for miles all around. Oh, fucking witch hut. We are not doing that. With a bunch of axe boys, you kidding me? They'll just hack each other apart. We need at least to get a couple of acolytes so we've got higher resolve. Yeah, I'm not that impressed with the dav cool, like event system. It barely happens. Okay. Okay, battle is on route. That means orcs is nearby. Orcs! Many orc young. We'll go we'll start by slaying their young. We'll start by slaying eight of their young. Fucking hell. It's going to take forever if we carry on like this.
that old chestnut, eh? Alright, fine, I'll advance. I shall advance then and fuck you all up. Good hitting, boys. Fuck me. Feeling bloodthirsty today, are we? Oh shit, that really still hurts. That guy's still so squishy. He's not nimble at all yet, is he? Or anything like that. He doesn't have Battle Forge or Nimble, actually. So I need to be super careful with him. We don't want him to die again and lose another 30 hit points. Fucking hell, he'd have nothing left. Okay, he's dead. Never mind. <sighs> Fuck. He's bleeding. We can't get him out. Well, maybe we, his turn's done. He can wait. No, he acts in three turns and he's bleeding, so he's going to die no matter what. Okay. Uh, that's really annoying, that hit. I just wasn't taking this. Yeah, there he goes. I just wasn't taking this seriously, and he just got hacked down. That's what happens when you take your eye off the ball for one second with Battle Brothers. It's just like, ha, ah, fuck you. You made a tiny mistake, which was advancing a squishy guy one square and attacking instead of leaving him where he was. And it's just like, whatever. He was super squishy. He wouldn't have survived much longer anyway. He would have made a fairly decent two-hander as well, though, which is the pity that he died, but... It's fine. That's how he died the first time, actually, isn't it? He bled to death. This time again, his weakened heart just didn't keep him alive long enough. Squishy man has died. Greenskin's wall is surely hearing stories of his warriors being cut down by now. He's no doubt getting a scent of you, damn Greenskins. What does that mean? Does that mean he's just going to come out of nowhere and like ambush me and just like fucking blindside me and wreck me instantaneously? Because that would suck. Bertolf, two-hander, slow meat, and hmm, they're both level ones. You can't have level ones fighting an orc warlord. Uh, let's go. We're not going to repair anything, so we don't know how long we're going to be out here for. Looking for orcs. We found some orcs. I mean, that might mean there'll be more orcs. Hopefully. Hopefully there'll be orc territory. Maybe not. It's all forest. There aren't even any direwolves or anything. It's fucking stupid. You normally can't get away from direwolves when they're chasing you down and wrecking you in the early game. And then they just seem to disappear. And then you just find massive roving bands of them, like 40 dire wolves. Look, there we go. Sweat, there's, um, those are probably spiders. Let's go have a look. Oh, it shows between these two. Okay. Oh, because they're all rank zero. Yeah, that's fine. That's why it does it. It doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily have to not be a cultist, it just chooses the lowest people. So even though they're both cultists... Bodo the slow meat. Will, I'll get rid of Wilhelm, him, because I don't know what to do with him. Slow meat, we at least... well, I don't know, they're both pretty shit. Chopped to pieces until he's but a torso and head. The blood is emptied across the ground and yet there's still light in his eyes and a perverse smile upon his face. You take an axe head and run... Oh yeah, it even says an axe. That's cool. And run it into his throat until he has no more. Every body part is separated and put up on a pole, cracked in grease and lit on flame. You and the men dance beneath the pyres at night and comes to... Comes... What? As the night comes and the night goes. Okay. So you've got zealots and fanatics and fanatics and stuff. Norman Light Tank's going to leave. So we have to take Norman's stuff off him. Even though he didn't have good stuff anyway. So now's the time. Because we've had the sacrifice. 
Now's the time we want to pick up like a poacher or someone who's really good and convert him into a, a, a cultist. But I don't know what kind of backgrounds you can get, so I'm not sure what would be really good. I suppose we need to go hiring. Since we're heading back to civilization for hiring, I'm going to repair these as well so we can sell them for a good profit. You can have that shield now. That shield in your bag. Yeah, that'll do. Let's see what this is. Dire walls, maybe? Hopefully. It's probably just web. Oh, it is dire walls. Fucking fantastic. Let's kill him. Finally found some dire walls, man. And there's only eight of them as well, which is perfect. They're going to be frenzied. He's just going to make them super fucking deadly. No, it's just a dire wolf. Okay, cool. So round it. Let them come to us. Oh, no. Some of them are frenzied. Oh, they fucking debated me. It debated me by having one non-frenzied dire wolf. This guy's going to get torn to pieces. E dear. I made a boo-boo. I didn't think they were frenzied. And now men are all going to be overwhelmed and no one's going to be able to hit anything and we're going to get overwhelmed and eaten to death. This is really bad. Really, really bad. Kill the ones that are flanking, please. We don't want them on the archers or the throwers. The throwers are the only killing party we have. Killing power we have. Everyone else is going to be missing like a fucking bitch. Really? Shield wall. Don't put the pup down. If they just get slaughtered by the dire wolf, it's going to be even more cost to us. Kill this one, please. I said, kill it, please. Thank you. And I kill this one. Oh, I should have gone for that guy. Whatever. Kill this one. I'm not putting a noob against a uh, wolf on high ground. Just shield wolf for Angianfil. Uh, Trigdor can get the battle axe out and fuck this guy up. And then step up there because he's fleeing. He's fleeing, so just kill him. Actually, we're doing fine. Henrik is fine. Henrik can go up against him, no problem. And then he can move here, ready to attack. You can just attack in case you hit. One of them is fleeing now, so you can attack, and the other one's almost fleeing. Ah! I thought we were going to get eaten by wolves there. Look how much damage they still do against a guy who has battle forged and pretty heavy armor on. You definitely save ammo from now. Two direwolf pelts. That's all you get. It's two direwolf pelts. It's crazy. Uh, perfect. We can go to the taxidermist right here and get a mantle. Yep, Norman Light Tank leaves the Battle Brothers as expected. Let's go find ourselves another poacher. Slash sacrifice. Slash someone to turn into a cultist. 
Ambush trade routes, eh? That means selling will be good, I think. No, not really. Just means everything will be super expensive here. Uh, let's try a butcher. Butchers can be good, and I know they can be converted. No, he's fucking club-footed. Well, we'll keep him as the sacrifice, but... Uh, yeah. Attack, defense, and health. You get student. I'm going to swap him out for him because he needs to get some experience so he doesn't get chosen to be sacrificed. Instead, it needs to be Wigmar who's going to be chosen to be sacrificed. I don't get why wild men can't be converted. That seems fucking stupid to me. They're not nobles. Right, who's getting the direwolf mantle as well? Someone who's going to be moving next to them. Probably on this. Yeah, I like that. I really wish we had more, but we just don't. Okay, so what are we doing again? I can't. Oh yeah, we're looking for recruits. We're looking for recruits, and we're trying to uh, get the orc warlord to come out, whatever that means. Two hundred and eight for tools. That's pretty cheap, but we don't really need that many. We just need one. Yeah, we actually don't need anything except for cultists. Nice, super cheap cultists. I'll take you. Oh, he's just a fucking beast of a tank. Three star melee defense, 102 fatigue, 46 resolve. He's swift, so he's got range defense for free, and he's always acts very first round. He's a tank. This guy's a heavy tank. It's not the best heavy tank I've seen, but he's still a heavy tank. Definitely leveling him as quickly as possible. So in fact we're going to take that and give that to him. And take out who's max level? The heavy no, we need him. He's the staple, he's the backbone. We can't bench Craigsman, we'll just get fucking wrecked by people. Meaty Mainfoot will bench when he's max level. Same with Anghel film. Same with him. Yeah, we're just going to bench people as they get to max level and swap them out for the other guys. Oh, we've got a puppy here. How do we have a puppy? What is that? That's confusing. Why do we keep getting dogs from? Dita, heavy tank, can have... Yeah, have the dog as well, because it might save your life, actually. Good work. Anything in the armory? Oh! Oh, that's not very good. 170 for minus 8. It's it's good. It's nimble gear. It's good nimble gear even, but uh, it's not the best nimble gear I've seen. I'd still probably buy it if I could afford it, but I can't. Even selling everything, we won't be able to afford it. Yeah, can't afford it right now. We're kind of scraping by, to be honest, all things considered. Right, let's go to Mooseburg and see if we can hire someone else. Someone who's a better replacement for the sacrifice potential. Sacrifice or Davkul guidance uh, event. Cultist conversion event is what I mean. Mooseburg! 
Nope. 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 Just nothing here. Nothing at all, man. One more lot of tools. Ooh, one lot of ammo. Because it's cheap. And we're out of here. We're, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just looking for orcs, but I don't know where orcs are. Because we tried, we're trying to find orcs all the time, and we just can't find them. So, I don't know what to suggest, like, where to go. Maybe we'll come up over here and see if there's orcs up over in this territory. What's this? Is that orcs? I was like, please be orcs. It's not. It's some reavers. We're going to attack them because there's a chance they'll have heavy throwing axes, and there's only six of them. This is a good opportunity to murder a bunch of reavers who might have heavy throwing axes on them. Let's find out. He's level one. I have to be very careful with him. In fact, I might just retire, retreat him from the front line entirely. Yeah. Heavy tank can handle it. It'll stop him from throwing the spear. And that means this guy can step up and attack. Dito is not doing anything. He's just he's gonna go after the drummer actually. Uh we want to have this guy here ready to rotate out just in case. And we're gonna let the back line do all the killing. So you come to here and miss. Might as well focus fire. You can, you can get an attack off. You can step up and attack. Now it's just a case of hoping that they don't fucking hit us. Oh, come on, man. Seriously, 90% chances you're missing here. Thank you. Whoops, I skipped his turn. Did not expect him to get berserk. Uh, just wait. Come to here. Can you get the long axe out? No, that's unfortunate. Just wait. Finish. Get to him. I should put the dog out. That was a mistake. Uh, wait. Uh, taunt this guy. And shield rule. Uh, shield rule. Attack and miss. Attack away because he's taunted. You're finished. You're coming up on the high ground in that case. Whoops, I meant to attack the other guy, but whatever, he's running now anyway, so. Didn't notice any heavy throwing axes, they all had throwing spears instead. Which is a bit annoying. Can't use throwing spears, we just have to sell them now. Newbies one on one a drummer, I love it. Go help him out, boys, just in case. We don't want him to waste the armor and get injured, do we? Oops, almost moved him, that would have sucked. Yes, he's wasting the armor, boys. He's wasting the armor. Need to get there and just help him out a bit. Alright, he can do the rest from... Oh, whatever. 
Chop his head off, let's get going. No heavy throwing axes, waste of time unfortunately, but it was an endeavour. Trading caravan is not hostile, it's fine. Armoury, nothing of interest. Heavy throwing axes, nope. No one for hire. No, it's just shit all around in this place. It always is. Where the fuck are the orcs? Oh, I say we come up here and look up here, see if we can find some orc camps. It's a bit far north, but I literally can't think of where else to get orc camps. We've been all over here. There's just fucking goblins everywhere. So, and we've been mostly down over here. We could check up here, actually. Check in here. Yeah, let's check in here. Just to be absolutely certain there's no orcs in this territory. Are those undead? Yeah, we don't, we don't want to fuck with undead right now for no reason. Fucking hell, it's just a massive clump of mountains. Of course it is. And undead. This is fucking bullshit! Where are all the fucking orcs and fucking green skin armies? Oh, what's this? Is this. Is this direwolves? I see orc prints. It's Naxxeras. Naxxeras fighting orcs. Don't want to fight the Naxxeras. I want to find where the orcs are coming from. There is an orc camp somewhere around here. I'm going to find it. Well, it's not necessarily orc. It's a green skin camp. There it is. No, many thugs and some poachers. Let's go kill it because we haven't killed anything in a while. It's quite close to Yulun Krug as well, so I'll probably do him a favour. Oops, we've only got six minutes left. Uh, I'll probably just finish this battle off screen, guys, because let's be honest, it's not much of a threat. It's really not a challenge at all, this one. See what the idiots do. Well, they're waiting. That's a good start on their part. <laughs> yeah, you need some XP. Get in there, boy. You can have these guys next to you and behind you and stuff for making sure that you don't die. Can I finish this in five minutes? Let's find out. Radoslav, stop getting shot, buddy. You don't have nimble yet. Wait until you've got nimble and you can get shot as much as you want. Why did you skip his turn? He's just desperate. Oh, because he moved. Yeah, I forgot. They, they were waiting. Wait. Let them come to you. Kill, 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 
Oh, come on, really? Kill them all. And then charge the archers. Who's charging? This guy is. Angheld Phil, which is perfect because he's our nimble guy. Oh, you can see him ammo now, actually. Whoops, didn't mean to finish him. I meant to finish with the arrow, with the throwers. Yes, I can easily finish this in five minutes, apparently. Kill a guy who's any kind of threat, but not really any threat. Running him down. I want the XP, yo. Mm. Ring. Right, where are these? Ah, oh, there's no fucking orcs. While walking through the forest, you come to a clearing where a small little hut sits. There are bear traps hanging from its walls, squirrel pelts from its eaves, and the windows are dressed with wet leaves in their corners. An old man is on the porch, rocking in his chair. He has a crossbow aimed at you. This is my property. There's a chain running from the arm to his chair to a hatch on the bottom of the cabin door. He moves slightly to the man spe speaking, and he turns and butts the crossbow against the door. Hush you. Now you, man of the sword, and your friends get going. Another... Step the wrong way, which you might put a bolt up your ass. Let's take a closer look. Why would you keep a goblin chained up here? He's my friend, he's my only friend. You've gone mad, Hermit. Who chains up a friend? What a madman. What the fuck just happened? I don't know what just happened, guys, but I'm going to end the episode there. Thanks for watching.